Well, we've learned that some parents may avoid getting the help they need physically and mentally because they need to take care of their children. That's right. And Safe Families for Children offers support as mothers and fathers work through a crisis. Our Brooke Slyer is live this morning with details. Brooke. Yeah, good morning, Evie and Day. Well, the whole goal of Safe Families for Children is to keep parents united with their children instead of them having to go to DCFS and foster care parents, you know, while they work through that crisis. And here to tell us a little bit more this morning is Tammy Samples, and she is the area coordinator for Safe Families. So for those viewers who are just tuning in, I really want you to recap of what your organization is all about because you guys have this local branch that serves all of Southern Illinois. Yeah, so Safe Families for Children, our goal is to keep families together. Um, we offer hosting for families where, that are working through a crisis so we can host children in host homes, volunteer host homes that are background checked and approved. Uh, they can keep the children in their home and keep them safe while the parents are working through whatever is going on, um, whether, it's a, whether they are homeless or they are working through a mental health issue or a hospitalization or substance use, whatever the situation is. We also have other roles that um, volunteers can do to help families in crisis. And what are those volunteer opportunities? Because there's kind of two different types of volunteer opportunities, you know, for those who might not be able to do that short-term host family uh, scenario. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we also have a need for resource friends and um, family friends. And these are people that say, I can't really host children in my home, but I do want to be involved and help. So those, those volunteers can come alongside and be kind of a mentor to families in need. They can provide just um, some emotional support. They could maybe provide a ride to an appointment or a doctor's appointment or take a child to school. They could also help with um, some meals or some other financial needs. They can also help support the host families that are hosting kids in their home. So there's obviously quite a few different opportunities, uh, you know, available for people to go ahead and help out depending on, you know, what they're able to do. Mm -hmm. And I also want to talk about coming up, you know, just the need here in Southern Illinois, because you told me throughout the pandemic, this has only increased. So we're going to talk about that, you know, coming up later on the show. But for now, Nick, I'm going to go ahead and toss it over to you. <laughs> Good Wednesday morning. Brooke mentioning a little while ago that uh, she was seeing a few raindrops fall this